Hey guys, this is Luke from Tiny Table War Games. Um, now I know this video is a little bit late. I was supposed to post it last week. Um, unfortunately, due to a few circumstances at home, I've been a little bit delayed on making the video. Um, I'm still waiting on a few things to arrive. Um, I've even, I've messaged them about my microphone. Um, they've still not got back to me. So funny feeling that's got me gone missing in the post as it was due on Monday. Um, a few issues in regarding to home things like that. So. Today, we are reviewing the Horde of Things 24 AP Unpainted Army Pack for the Undead Army. So, gives you your uh, unit names there, which is fantastic. Tells you everything you've got in the box. Um, obviously, it does come in just a small box like I've shown. Um, now, the thing I like about these is you've got a nice variation. The detailing's crisp. You know, so in this pack I think you get... So you get like seven of this guy. So you get like seven of the guy at the front with the... Uh, what looks to be a, a rounded kite shield. You've got several with the buckler shield and the axe. You've got a few with the scimitar and the... I think it's what they call the desert skeleton. So obviously he's got a bit of a... What looks to be like a turban or something on there with just like a small buckler obviously you've got a couple of other variations so I mean don't know how many of you play Skyrim or not but the guy with the horns looks a bit like a Draugr De uh, Death Lord which I think is quite cool with his big double sword double handed sword but yeah, I mean obviously you've got quite a, you've you've got a very simplified variation but I think the way they've been posed and the way they sort of look is quite impressive so here we have what look to be uh, ghostly wraiths now these are three of the same post uh, same pose I'm not too sure how I feel um, in regards to the same pose but I mean they, they do their job for hard of the things I mean you don't need you don't need 30 of them you know you need three Possibly six at the most, depending on how many units of this particular type you want to take. Um, here you have your ghouls leaping from graves. Yet again, same pose three times over. I mean, a nice, a nice variation in arm arm movement might have been might have been interesting to put on. Um, but yeah, I mean, like they they are fantastic little miniatures. The sculpts are nicely done. They're crisp. They're clean. You know, there's not a right lot of flash on them. I think there's a little bit of flash on that guy's, on that guy's shoulder there. I just need to clean off. Still waiting for my files to arrive. Um, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm waiting for a lot of things to arrive in this with the channel. Um, and then we have the two units of knights, which yet again mono pose riders. Um, the horses you could possibly have got away with, but it would have just been nice to possibly see a little bit of variation in the in the riders. Um, but yet yeah, again, I mean, Gavin's doing it by the sounds of it pretty much on his own with a very small team of people. You know, it's like for what they do is fantastic, and the price they do, they do these in. Um, I think the undead army is twenty one pound. Um, and I mean, you're getting a lot of metal for your money. Um, and then obviously you've got your your catapult, which is actually quite large sized. Now, the issue I kind of have with the large size is as cool as it looks and as cool as it is. Um, I plan on building a couple of 50mm Kings of War armies um, as well, as as well as Horde of Things, um, just to get a couple of variations and a couple of battle reports. Obviously, I've got in communication with a couple of people in my local area to possibly get a couple of report, battle reports on the way. Um that'll be something that i'll be looking into quite recently and i think it'll benefit the channel and it'll benefit everyone because then we can actually sort of trial test rule sets we can sort of check out different rules we can have actual battle reports where we know what we're actually doing um and you know we can just have a little bit of fun um so i mean that that's pretty much the plan i mean this is your 24 ap point list for hard of the things and they are fantastic miniatures. Lack of variation, uh, diversity, shall we say, of pose. Uh, could be a little bit of an issue if you're planning on a large horde game. Um, however, 
if you're wanting one of partic one particular pose, um, say for example, if I wanted a unit of that guy with the shields for a row of say five or six too deep, I think his pose fits well um, because it would allow you to do that without sort of encroaching possibly on other models as such because you could just angle them in such a way. Same with the Dreadlord and um yeah same with the dreadlord um i think the other poses are quite sort of encroaching backwards or backwards and forwards you know it's i mean like you like you could line them up i mean like you get you get seven of these so you get seven of your basic infantry which class as horde so you get seven of them um 35 skeletons in a pack with axes swords you know things like that um, it could have been cool to see possibly a hammer in there, um, but yeah, I mean they are fan they're fantastic little sculpts. Um, oh, one, and we've got I know I forgot about this guy, the necromancer, the flying general. Now the cool thing I like about this is the way it goes together is quite quite cool. Um, it's quite basic. Obviously, I do prime all my models in black, so whatever you don't see won't be getting painted. So it'll be nice and shaded in black. Um, just need to do the bases. But it's the fact that this miniature, the character, doesn't have a face. Now, I think that is really cool. Like, to me, that is, like, really cool. You know, I mean, they go on quite easy. You know, just a bit of basic sanding, a bit of filing down, and a bit of super glue to... Uh, we're more together obviously the resin bases are fantastic don't add too much weight and their sizes are really good um obviously i'm going to clean up the edges a little bit um, but i do plan on ordering a lot more from uh, alternative armies um gavin's a really nice guy he's really good um obviously you could like they do requests um and other things like that um i am running out of uh, material to review at this point due to um spending on quite a fair bit of money on the uh channel side of things rather than the miniatures um i do have a very small review coming up of obviously these little evil evil and anti-paladins um i've got a little bit of a review coming about them and then i've got a little review coming on where's he gone there we are on an elf on griffin so I've got two more reviews coming, um, due to possible um, time, it may be one video a week for the next coming week or so, just so, just so I can get something ordered, um, fingers crossed I'll be ordering a few things on Monday um, for a review in the next couple of weeks, um, which will be fantastic, obviously with it all being pewter and all being sort of metal and resin, um, a lot of these guys cast sort of like as and when is, um, which is cool. It's all good. I mean, they're not overcasting what they don't need, uh, which is good. Um, I'm in communication with the guys who make Cav, um, John. Um, I'm hopefully receiving an email from him in the next coming days um, to try and get some possible Cav miniatures on the go. So this has been a review of the 15mm Undead for the HOTT rules. Um, there's a fa fantastic value, um, fantastic little miniatures for what you get. Um, the bases aren't too big, which is which is a very good change. You know, it, it's a very nice change to come across to. Um, you know, too many metal. It's it's really big based. It's you know, there's large bases and it. it just makes it a little bit harder to sort of base per se um, with the details and things like that. But as miniatures go, their detail is crisp. Their detail is clean. Diversity of miniatures could be a little bit better. Um, I think I am going to eventually bring out a rating system um, and obviously once I've got my new camera lighting, um, my macro lens, things like that, my microphone, sound will be a lot better, image image quality will be a lot better, my lighting itself will be a lot better. At the moment I'm just running off a cheap, cheap office lamp. As you can see, I apologise to anyone that's, that's light sensitive. Um, and then obviously I've got a little bit of storage for whatnot. But other than that, that's my very basic setup. 
Um, so yeah, guys, I mean, I, I give them a check out, give them a purchase. I mean, they don't sell the rule sets anymore. The rule sets can be found on Amazon, places like that. I think it's been out of production for a while now. Um, I know DBA 3.0 has been released. Um, I'm yet to look into that, but that's obviously more historical. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend these these miniatures to anyone who likes undead armies. Obviously, there are several different variations of undead models that alternative armies do. Um, but yeah, give them a check out. I'll leave a link in the description below. And peace out. Keep it tiny. Keep it on the table. Peace out, guys.